It's Anne and Anne, just spelled two different ways. How adorable. You don't see names like Anne and Anne anymore. It's always something insane like Letitia and Jamanique. Crazy names. People be naming their kids some ridiculous names today. What is going on guys, this is DJP3Games, and welcome to episode 16 of our Pokemon Crystal Randomized Nuzlocke. In today's episode, we are going to be making our way to Ekru Cheek City, getting our fourth gym badge, hopefully, and getting a few encounters. If you guys missed the last episode, make sure you go check it out, the link will be down in the description below. Before we get started, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button down below, I greatly appreciate the support, and subscribe to become a part of the Steel Force. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and do a quick team recap here. We got my boy Vinny, the Lugia, at level 20. That powerful sprite, he has the Moose Arrow Blast, Safeguard, and Dragon Breath. Then we have Mantis, the Victory Bell, holding the Miracle Seed with Vine Whip, Sleep Powder, Sweet Scent, and Razor Leaf. But I actually learned that Mantis will not learn any other moves. It gets those moves at level 1s, and it's not going to learn anything else. So it's not a bad moveset. We can probably teach it something else a little bit better. Um, but this is what we're rocking with for the time being. Then next up we have Angel the Cadaver with the Twisted Spoon, Confusion, Teleport, Disable, and Psybeam. We have Claire the Sea King with Peck, Tail Whip, Supersonic, and Horn Attack. And then we have two eggs. One hope hatches in today's episode, but we'll see. Um, and actually when we get to the PC in Ecruteek City, we're going to be making some changes to the team. So we're going to go up on over here. And this is Route 37, so this is a new route. We can get an encounter over here. Let's see what it's going to be. Ooh, a Gligar. Not bad, not bad. Let me write that down. Gligar, round 37. Alright, level 13. That's not bad. Um, Scround and Flying, so that could definitely help. Let me switch out to Claire here. I don't know what kind of moveset Gligar gets. Um, but it definitely would not be a bad mod to have. Peck should not kill it. Okay, yeah, Peck didn't do a whole lot. Choose and Harden, so that's fine. I'm going to say it's definitely going to have something like Vice Grip, maybe. Um, I know with it only being Gen 2, it won't be able to evolve into a Glide Score. It has Poison Sting. It's not too bad. One more Peck shouldn't kill it. Alright, that's good. We got it in the red. Hopefully we do not get poisoned. We got poisoned. Of course. Right when I was about to say something, we get poisoned. Uh, so let's go ahead and just switch out to Mantis here. I'll go ahead and put him to sleep, and we'll start throwing some Pokeballs. I went and bought a few more Pokeballs uh, in between episodes, so I think we have about f maybe 40 Pokeballs now. No, not, nothing too crazy. Alright, you sneak taking those Tiger Snooze. Yeah, we got 41 Pokeballs, so we're pretty set. We should be able to get this encounter. Um, once we talk to Bill in Ecruteek City, we'll go back to Goldenrod and get our Static Eevee encounter. Uh, we should also be able to get a Burn Tower encounter, and I don't know about a Tin Tower encounter. But, we got at least three for sure. And we will battle the Kimono Girls, get Surf. Got some exciting things going on in today's episode. Come on, Glagar, stay in the ball. On my guy. This could be a potential of team member. Oh, we don't want to stay in the ball. So, as I've been saying in the past, um, when we catch Pokemon, make sure to leave nickname suggestions down in the comments below. I greatly appreciate it. Because um, I am terrible at nicknames, but I'm going to go ahead and be naming this Gligar after Spyro. Uh, he's always in the comment section, always showing support. So he definitely deserves to have a mod named after him. So he's gonna go to the PC, and we'll check him out when we get up there. Sunny of the Sunday. Oh, okay, it is Sunday today. So we got a magnet. That's that's dope. Not bad. <laughs> what was it now? Oh, I remember now. Oh, Pokemon that knows electric cutting moves should hold it. My sis Monica said it powers up electric moves. So we came here on the right day. I'm going to go ahead and use this Poison Cure Berry. 
um, on Claire so she doesn't accidentally die. Okay, and she talks about all her fam. Black apricorn. I think these are all apricorn trees. Red apricorn. And we have a blue apricorn. So we got black, red, and blue. Too bad it's not red, white, and blue USA. You know what I'm saying? Alright, uh... Let me battle these twins here. Anne and I are in this together. It's Anne and Anne, just spelled two different ways. How adorable. You don't see names like Anne and Anne anymore. It's always something insane like Letitia and Jamanique. Crazy names. People be naming their kids some ridiculous names today. Holy sleep. Double slap. Ooh. That was, that was a crit. Mini woke up. Anyway, he's gonna hit him with that dragon breath. Oh, I forgot there's not double battles in this gym. Uh, zero blast. But that's all we got. Take it out. Vinny's gonna grow not to level 21. I hope you guys are having a great Monday. I think Vinny is out of moves. He's got one arrow blast. So I'll go ahead and leave him out. Um, battle this guy. But yeah, I hope you guys are having a great Monday. Um, you know, it's a Monday. Not a lot I can do about it. Uh, I'm recording this on Sunday. It's Sunday night late. It's about 8.45 p.m. I gotta record about three more episodes after this. Get some edited. That way, um, I'm covered throughout the week. Because I'm going to be gone next weekend. That arrow blast was a one-hit KO, no problem. Then he's gonna go to level 21. I think learns gust at level 22, so that's one more attacking move we at least get. Otherwise, Lydia doesn't have a crazy good move set in this gym. Uh, we're actually gonna be replacing Claire, so I'll just go ahead and move Mantis into the front. And we are in Ecruteak City. Let's go ahead and go heal. Oh, oh, we got Bill coming out here. What kind of voice are we gonna give Bill? Hi, I'm Bill. Hey, who are you? Oh, Jordan, huh? You come at the right time. I just finished adjustments on my time capsule. You know that Pokemon can be traded, right? My time capsule was developed to enable trades with the past. But you can't send anything in that didn't exist in the past. If you did, the PC in the past would have a breakdown. So you have to remove anything that wasn't around in the past. Put simply, no sending new moves or put new Pokemon in the time capsule. Don't you worry, I'm done with the adjustments. Tomorrow, time capsules will be running at all Pokemon centers. I have to hurry on back to Goldenrod and see my folks. Bye bye Alright, so we can go get the uh, Goldenrod Static EV encounter after that, or after talking to Bill now. We'll go ahead and heal. Um, we're actually going to bring Larvitar on the team. We're not going to bring Gligar yet, though. Uh, I want to see what happens with our eggs and all that good stuff. So we're gonna say goodbye to Claire. Let me make sure I do a timestamp. Here. And we are gonna withdraw. Ooh, I forgot we got. Okay, PK Sparks, Sludge, Squids, Katrina are all dead. Claire's still alive. June, Godzilla, and Spyro are still alive. But we're gonna take out Godzilla. Our Larvitar. And put him on the squad. So let's check him out. He's got 10,000 experience points. He's a rock ground type. Bite, Lear, Sandstorm, and Screech. Not bad, not bad. Let me just kind of switch all that. I gotta, I gotta have him like in order by HP, otherwise it like bothers me. I don't know how you guys are whenever you uh, organize your Pokemon in your party. Let's go ahead and go back to Goldenrod and get this uh, encounter. Oh, we're going to call from a bike shop. Hi Jordan, our bicycle sales have gone through the roof. We have it all few advertising right now on our bicycle. That's our way of saying things. Please keep the bicycle. I don't mind if I do. I probably wasn't going to return it anyways because I'm 10 and I like to do hood rat things with my friends. 
Alright, let's go ahead. I don't know cut, so I gotta go back this way. Gotta speed this up. Run into wild loonies. Oh, oh, oh. Actually, she can probably fight. Oh, that does a good amount. Let's get some uh, XP for my boy here. Okay. 377. That's not a lot of XP. Just kind of skipping around here. Yo, the egg is hatching. What time is it? It's 11:30. Oh, it's a Squirtle! That is awesome! Well, no need to bring Claire back because we have a Squirtle on the team. It is a male Squirtle. What are we going to name this dude? Uh, let's name him Tommy. So we got Tommy the Squirtle joining the team. You know we are about to switch train this boy up. The squad is looking good now. I really need like a experience share or something like that. I know we can get it um, once we get the red scale. So let's go ahead and check out Tommy's uh, stats and stuff here. Tackle and tail whip. Not bad, not bad. Let's go see what this static EV counter is going to be. Yo, I'm so stoked for that was a squirtle. That's awesome. Bumping in so. Nope, that's not the right house. I believe it's this house over here. Hi, Jordan. Do us a favor and take this Eevee. It came over with just a dozen tank cut, but someone has to take care of it, but I don't like being outside. Can I count on you to play with it? Of course. I knew you'd come through. Way to go. You're the real deal. Okay, I'm counting on you. Take good care of it. Whoa, wait. Oh. I gotta go put a Pokemon on PC. I'm just gonna go ahead and throw, uh... It doesn't really matter who I throw in there, I'll just throw Squirtle. I'm not gonna make any changes to the layout, because it's not an official team member change. We're just gonna go see what the static EV is gonna be, and then we're gonna make our way back to Ecruteek City. I don't think we're gonna face the gym. Um, in this episode, but we're definitely going to take care of everything at the Burn Tower. Alright, I'm not reading your dialogue again, bro. You just didn't want to give my Eevee. Yo, it's a Kangaskhan! Okay! I was like, is it really an Eevee? It's a female Kangaskhan. Um, let's name you Donna. What level is this? Is it level 20? Okay. Alright. So, Kangaskhan has Consequence, Leader Bite, and Tail Whip. Yo, I'm in a predicament here. Um, what do I want to do? I want to switch train Squirtle, but I also want to hatch this egg. Moves around sometimes, it must be close to hatching. Um, so, let's hope it hatches between here and Ecruteek City. Or we can just, we can like speed up around and see what it's going to be, see what this egg is going to be that way. Um, or we can just leave Squirtle off the team. So, let me go ahead and write uh, 14, because that's actually going to be a team member change for right now. We are going to keep Kangaskhan on. So Squirtle's gonna stay in the PC for the time being um, until we see what this next egg is gonna be. See so this next egg is gonna be. See what our burn tower encounter is gonna be. Um, I mean, then we got some decisions to make. Joy. So let, let, let me check on this egg again. It must be close to hatching. See, I know 
this is the tin tower. Um, okay. Alright, I'll have to get that after the gym badge. So let's go ahead and come on up here. And we don't have Rock Smash. This is, what's his name? Yusin. My name's Yusin. I'm on the trail of a Pokemon named Suicune. And you are... Jordan. Glad to meet you. I heard rumors that Suicune is in this burn tower. So I came to look. But where exactly could it be? That's such an obnoxious voice. Um, yo, this is Morty. Everyone's gym leader has to be studied with our said to be a legendary Pokemon Suicune Ninja and Raikou. Uh, you seen this here, so I decided to investigate the tower with him. Roger that. We actually don't have Rock Smash. I picked up the Rock Smash TM from that dude to give it to you, and it was spiked. Um, so let's see what our burn tower and counter's gonna be. Yo, we getting all the Kanto starters! What is up? Alright, so Charmander. What level is he gonna be? 14, so he's about to evolve into a Charmeleon. Um. Shoot. Is Bite gonna kill? Is the question. Or do I want to throw up a sandstorm? Uh. So what, what does Donna have? Count my weird. I don't know what to do. All right, we're just gonna put this thing to sleep and start throwing some balls. Cause it's gonna have scratch and ember. I also don't think a vine whip or razor leaf would kill it. Um, but I'm not going to resort to that yet. I don't know how uh, the catch rates are for these Pokemon. Charmander, wake up. Oh, how dare you. I need you to go back to sleep, buddy. See, the only reason I don't want to get rid of Mantis, or Mantis is because of uh, um, Sleep Powder. Yo, okay, Sleep Powder didn't affect it. It's because we're missing. So, if I rock out with Kangaskhan, Lugia, Kadabra, and we caught the Charmander. Third time's a charm. That is what's up. This is going to be the return of Lucas. This is Lucas' second. Alright. So not bad. Um yo, there's gravelers in here. Let's see what else was in here. We gotta go I think we gotta battle our rival maybe. There's no duos. Uh also gravelers. We are gonna do that. I'm gonna have to do some uh, some thinking on what I want to do with the team. Help! Oh, it's you. I came looking for some legendary Pokemon that they say robot roost here. Robots. There's robots here. But there's nothing here. Nothing after the, all the trouble of coming to this dump. No way. It's all your fault. Okay, we are gonna battle our rival here. Gage wants to battle, so he's got a snubble. That is fine. Bite got the crit and the flinch. I'm gonna go ahead and throw up a sandstorm. Just because. Another bite should kill him. Oh, he got paralyzed due to lake, but the sandstorm's gonna kill him real quick. Teddy Ursa will stay out. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and use a potion. Cure Berry. Let's go ahead and use that. G 
Jesus. Teddy Erson's putting in some work on us. Let's go ahead and use the potion again. How is that? How, is Teddy Erson's attack that high? What in the world? Alright, we gotta switch out here. Let's go out to Donna. Let's see what Donna can do. Three swipes. Comet Punch hits twice, right? Oh, we got that crit though. Lady Bow will stay in. Comet Punch hit twice or five times? I think it hits up to five. Not bad. Not a bad move at all. And he's gonna have that Murkrow. He's Pursuit. We are almost a little under level, to be honest. Um, I know Morty's last Pokemon. Um, oh, whatever. You would never be able to catch a legendary Pokemon anyway. <laughs> okay, we're going to fall through the floor. Um, but yeah, Morty's last level Pokemon, I think, is level 24. Um, so we might do a little grinding montage before the next episode. Let me go ahead and initiate this. Yo, these legendary dogs are nuts. And then here's Yusin. I took a hole here. Oh, wait, no, I gave him this. I took a hole here, too. I was shocked. So we can race black by like a blur right in front of my eyes. <laughs> For 10 years I chased the Suicune and I finally got to see it. I'm all choked up. Don't I owe this all to you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I heard that the legendary Pokemon of Ekrajitas <laughs> chosen by humans by allowing them to come close. I'm going to track some human. <laughs> Don't let's meet again. I will. <coughs> oh god. Alright. See what is down here. There's hit on tops down here. Um, shoot. Technically, this is nope. That's a bad move. Technically, this is still the same area. Uh, so I can't get any encounters. Is there any items or anything over here? Nope. Nothing I can get to. Ooh, that's almost bad. All right, let's go back upstairs here. We are gonna go heal our Pokemon. What you got to say, Leon? Alright, he's talking about Ho Ho here. Mm -mm -mm. So we are gonna go heal our Pokemon. Um, the layout's a little messed up, but I'm gonna figure out who I'm gonna use on my team. Um, we're gonna do a grinding montage before the next episode, but I'm going to figure out who I want on the team um, in between episodes, so the late will be different from the end of this episode to the start of the next. But I'm going to go ahead and end the episode off here. In the next episode, we are going to take on the Colonel Girls and take on the Egg City Gym, and then make our way towards Olivine City. So we, we're we getting pretty deep into this game now, so team's looking good. i got a lot of decisions to make, but... Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys hit that like button if you haven't already, and hit that subscribe button as well. I greatly appreciate it. But until then, this is DJ Peter Games, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace!